Ryan was standing there like with a bag and he was like congratulations brother sticks say Aram eight I was like so we're not worried about COVID I was like even if I get COVID let me get it from Ryan Moon <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Adrian Moon. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hi guys, my name is Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Adrian, and I'm not always so tatty. Let me just put that disclaimer out there. But I had the best day of my life. So you know what? I wanted to film this video hours ago. But I'm speechless still. I genuinely don't know what to say. So I didn't I didn't plan this, but anyway. Okay. Let me just start at the beginning. <laughs> so okay. I won a competition. I'm not just gonna say what is happening in this video. You saw the title, hence you clicking on it, and you saw the thumbnail, hence you clicking on it, right? So, a couple of months ago, I won a competition from Stellenbosch Football Club, right? If you know me, you know that I support Stellenbosch as far as PSL is concerned. So, I was super excited. I like told everybody to enter. And then I obviously won. And so, I was supposed to get a prize from them. I didn't know what exactly the prize was going to be. They just like it's going to be a scarf, like a football... Um, what do you call this? Like a Stellenbosch Football Club scarf and something else, like something special. I don't know what it was. I was just like, I don't care. As long as I won, that's it. I'm happy, right? Even if they just gave me flowers, <laughs> I really wouldn't care. So, ah, what a beautiful life. God is so good all the time. <laughs> anyway, and so yeah, I won the competition. And then obviously because of COVID and everything, like it was a bit of a mission to like, get the prize to me and because of what it was they first had to send this thing away and just complications but i like really i honestly couldn't care i won i was happy i was over the moon so <coughs> over the moon and so <laughs> and so anyway um yeah i said like i said i won the competition and then i was just being going back and forth with the social media team like to, should they deliver it should i come pitch it blah 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 and then we kept on clashing with the times and then when i was available they were maybe like in Joburg or something else playing games and so there was always like this mismatch until two days so before we get into the the, the more exciting part <laughs> i got even so what the hell okay before we get into the more exciting part of this video i was going to show you what I got. So this is the box that I got. You can see over here, well bag actually. It says congratulations Ad Adrian, the SFC club, Star Marsh Football Club team. And so in the inside of it is like I said, it's a Stellenbosch scarf. So the reason why I was so excited about this, like I said, even if it was just a scarf, is because Stellenbosch is still a relatively new club. So their merch isn't like available at like, you know, Sportsman's Warehouse and like wherever else. Um, because they're a small club. So they never had merch. I think now they only have merch now, as in 2021. They have a bit of merch, but before that they didn't. So I was going to be the only one, apart from players, to have SFC merch, right? So anyway. That's how I was excited. I got this scarf. I'm gonna just let it chill there for the moment. And then the second surprise, which <laughs> I when they told me in in on Instagram, I was so excited and so confused. So let me just show you. Let me just show you. I took it out of the packet already because obviously I don't as for the shoot <laughs> with it. So this is what I got. It is the official Stellenbosch Football Club jersey with obviously the sponsors and everything on it but like i said this is the 2019-2020 kit so they have a new kit now so it's not actually this so this is still from the old one but i don't care i have a stylomosh jersey do you no you don't but more than that do you have your own name at the back of your own stylomosh football club jersey i don't think so ladies and gentlemen so the number is ryan moon's number so I wasn't too sure, they asked me what name do I want. So I could have left it as like Moon29 or whatever. And so I went back and forth with the whole thing. I was like, okay, this is also why it took a bit long. I'm getting hot. Let me just take this off. So we were going back and forth with the whole thing because I was like, okay, like, am I allowed to, like, must I choose a number that doesn't exist? Can I choose a player that already exists? Can I change the name but keep the number? Like, I was just so confused. But I made it very clear that I wanted Ryan Moon's number. Like, 
I least wanted the number if I wasn't going to get Ryan Moon's name. So like I said, I went back and forth was do I put Ryan's name, do I put my name? And so I just went towards my name with Ryan's number, right? Because in case he like leaves the club and then it's awkward. And then I have like 29 Moon and he's not even there and it's just awkward vibes. So, now you see this is the thing. This is really, this is really, can only be God. Because I, I've been, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I've literally been praying to meet Ryan Moon for at least like two years. I was just been praying, I was like, Lord, I don't know how, I don't know where. And I went to football games and I tried to like meet him afterwards or meet him before, like when they're warming up, meet him when they walk, like cooling down, like I, it just was never working. But God is so good and all the Christians say it all the time. <laughs> so I just prayed about it and once I won the competition, I promise you, there was no doubt in my mind that I was going to meet Ryan. No way in that message did they say you're going to meet Ryan, nothing like that. All I knew is I had crazy faith and I had no doubt that God was going to do this. So I was just, you know, believing so much that this would happen. And then when this whole thing came up, I was like, is this how it's going to happen? So not that the people feel, I'm amongst 50,000 other people, but something like this, which is a bit more intimate. And so anyway, so they messaged me and they were like, okay, can we now, you know, come through today, whatever, whatever, and we have a surprise for you. So I was like, God, please. I was like, Lord, please. And I prayed so long on this whole one topic alone. I was like, please, lady, can it be this? Like, I'll be so happy. Like, you know, you're a faithful God. I believe you. I trust you. But if it's not that, I'm still grateful just to, you know, have won the competition and, you know, get to go there and, you know, be on the, on the academy or whatever. And so when I got there, I met the guy, the social media guy, very nice guy. Thank you so much for organizing this. Shout out to Courtney. Um, <laughs> then I got there and then we were just talking and we were walking in and he was like, okay, we have a surprise for you. And I was like, okay. He took out his camera and because I was in social media, I knew where this was going. So he like started filming a video and then I had to like walk through this like door thing. And then I walked through the door and like Ryan was there and then Ryan was standing there like with a bag and he was like congratulations brother stick say Adam eight. I was like so we're not worried about COVID I was like even if I get COVID let me get it from Ryan Moon <laughs> and so yeah so and I was thinking about it last night I was like no, do I hug do I elbow do I just hide like awkward so yeah gave me a hug and said like congratulations or whatever, whatever. To be honest, I don't even really know much of what he said. I was just mesmerized by this beautiful man of God. And then, yeah, so we took some photos um, with the shirt, with the jersey. I'll insert them over here. And then he had to leave because he actually had to be at practice. But he told me he didn't. That I remember him saying. I said, I hope I'm not making you late or anything. And then he said no. But then the social media guy told me no, he was actually late. <laughs> but they organized it so the coach knew on the bright side. And then, yeah, so we took the pictures and then I asked him to take pictures without our mask because no haters had to say, oh no, that's not Ryan. So I had to make sure that everyone saw that was Ryan Moon. And then, yeah, basically I met the man, we spoke, like I said, I wish I could give you more detail. I don't remember anything that came out of his mouth <laughs> apart from congratulations and nice to meet you. I, and enjoy your day, I think I didn't, I... I can't, I told you guys the man's smile is hypnotizing in my couple post video. So, I mean, I publicly said on that video that I DM'd Ryan Moon and he didn't reply. And then I publicly shot my shot, shot my shot on YouTube, which didn't happen. So I know I asked him, had you seen the video? And he said no. So I was like, okay, thank goodness, because y'all now I was going crazy up in the video talking about this man. So I was like, you can watch it after we meet, but I don't watch it before. So we spoke about that, um, and I know he, like, he specifically said he didn't watch it, um, and then, yeah, so I posted the picture, <laughs> I posted the picture on Instagram of the two of us, and like, a couple of minutes later, obviously I tagged him, a couple of minutes later, it's like, Ryan Moon likes your photo, and Ryan Moon followed you <laughs> on Instagram, bye, beep. Girl, let me tell you, God is so good. If you take anything from this, don't take the fact that I got a jersey. Don't take the fact that I met Ryan Moon before you. 
just know that God is so good. If anything, this is just a testimony of faith. And it really is. All you need is a mustard seed level of faith and patience. My favorite verse is faith that is firm is also patient. And I had really, really, really firm faith that I was going to meet Ryan Moon. I didn't know how long. I didn't know where. I didn't know how. But I knew that I was going to meet this man. And so I did. And like glory to God for that. And so that is what I have to say. I don't know if this energy is weird in this video. I feel like this energy is weird. I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act there. I don't know how to act now. <laughs> it's just, it feels fake. Like I told the social media guy, I'm like, it feels weird. Like he's actually like a real person. <laughs> and so, anyway, that is my point. So, before I end this video, massive shout out to Stella Marsh for Book Club, specifically to Courtney for, well, choosing me to win the competition, but also for organizing this like literally once in a lifetime moment of letting me meet Ryan and like kind of bending over the jersey and everything so I really appreciate it. there's not enough words in the world that can express my gratitude and how grateful I am for this but those who know me personally know how I admire Ryan Moon I don't want to say obsessed because that sounds really, like weird like how much I admire Ryan Moon as a person and as a player as well so this was this is insane. This is insane. I'm probably not gonna sleep for like next hundred years. I'm probably not gonna like shower because his perfume smell is on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, no, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, all those other YouTube things. And I'll see you guys in the next video.